I'm here to talk a bit about something I love, namely Robot Carnival, a movie from the 1980s that is basically a series of short films um, all put together. They were all made for this movie, so it's not just a bunch of random films all thrown together, because they're all themed around robots and all done by um, sort of major lights in the anime industry either then or eventually later on. Um, and so it's a variety of styles, a variety of visuals um, in this. And what, what I love about Robot Carnival is because it's a series of short films, there's kind of something for everybody. Um, there's weird robot visuals. Um, there's some very um, uh, thoughtful moments, you know, thoughtful, quiet stories. Um, they're just all about um, sort of soaking in visuals and soaking in the moment. Um, there are wonderful sort of carnival style short films. Um, this one in particular set at a, an amusement park uh, uh, with a young girl who's uh, who has a bit of a, a bad time in the amusement park, and then of course things kind of go weird. Um, but uh, you know, very cute shojo sort of shojo robots, right? Like, isn't that awesome? Um, and you got wonderful things here like Clouds, uh, which is just a very experimental film. Uh, very repetitive, but in, an, in sort of an evolving way. Uh, very much an experiment with animation itself. Um, and it ends off, without getting to too much into spoiler territory, with a sort of um, a Night on Bald Mountain-esque robot uh, storyline, which is uh, very, very interesting. Um, and animation budget is, is high in pretty much all of these throughout. Of course, some of the more experimental ones aren't, you know, because they're not action sequences, they're not lots of, of crazy stuff. Um, and so you get a variety of, of, of things, but you know, it all has that um, punch of a well-funded, you know, animated work uh, where everyone's really executing on a, on a singular vision. And this is another thing I like. You know, with a lot of things... A lot of anime is is made with commercial interest in mind, and that doesn't necessarily that doesn't necessarily ruin a work, right? You can you can make good things that are that have commercial interest involved, um, and obviously they wanted to make money off of this, and they wanted it to be successful, but because it's driven more by a specific artistic vision, and because each one is so short, I think that helped the creative team focus a bit more, uh, and create something more unique and more distinctive. So Robot Carnival feels much more like, like a lot of the, a lot of the reasons we all got into anime is because it was different. It's because it was, um, it was made under different assumptions than we're used to. And that's very much what Robot Carnival feels like. Uh, it is something that sticks with you, for, uh, at least it stuck with me for, for quite a while. Um, some of it, uh, you know, may not work as well for you because, you know, we all have different tastes and some of the, the some of them are more slow, some of them are faster and all that kind of stuff. But I think Robot Carnival really does bring that smorgasbord feel of a lot of different things, but because there is one central theme, it doesn't wander too far off that that uh, um, uh, that general, you know, that general track of of you know robot science fiction, etc. Uh, so it's a really fun ride. Um, I know it's been released on DVD, but it's, it's not easy to, to find that way. Uh, you can certainly track it down in, in various ways. Um, that's not hard these days. Uh, so if you're, you know, if you're into sort of science fiction, uh, robot kind of stuff, and especially like experimental animation, this is definitely, this is definitely that.